Hey everyone. Welcome back to Coin Oz. In this video I'm going to show you 4 super rare pennies that have potential of changing your financial game for good. They are worth a fortune. Hit that subscribe button below this video and let's dive in. Number 4. This is 1951 Lincoln sent in PR67 deep cameo condition. Deep cameo is a designation that is given to a proof or specially struck bullion or commemorative coin featuring stark contrast between frosty device elements and mirror-like fields. According to NGC, 1951 proofs only rarely have the satiny or semi-brilliant finish more commonly seen on 1950 proof scents. Most of this year are fully brilliant, with a modest percentage showing varying degrees of cameo contrast. Deep cameo specimens are highly elusive. This one was sold for $70,312.50 with buyer's fee. Number 3. Here is 1914 Lincoln sent in PR67 red condition. CAC proven superb gem. A CAC sticker, in the context of numismatics, the study and collection of coins, stands for Certified Acceptance Corporation. CAC is a third-party grading service that evaluates and certifies the quality and authenticity of coins. CAC experts examine the coins independently, looking for certain criteria that indicate exceptional quality. They pay particular attention to factors like the coin's strike, luster, surface quality, and overall eye appeal. Without the boost provided by the new Buffalo Nickel of 1913, sales of minor proof sets, cents and nickels, declined in 1914. This date is somewhat scarcer than the more plentiful 1910 and 1913 cents. Fully red gems are especially elusive. This one was sold for $126,562.50 with buyer's fee. Number 2. Here is 1922 No D Wheat Penny with Strong Reverse. Graded in Mint State 64 read by PCGS and further confirmed by CAC. According to NGC, the erosion of the obverse dye, perhaps in combination with the mint mark cavity catching grease or other debris, led to the coining of numerous 1,922 dated cents at Denver that revealed no mint mark. This popular oddity is not a true variety, as the obverse dye began its term normally and then deteriorated to the point that its mint mark vanished. It is actually a dye state, and as such should command little attention, but early publicizing of these defective coins by Maurice Charlac and other dealers cemented its place in United States coin collecting. Examples displaying full red color are extremely rare. This red specimen ended up selling for $253,125 with buyer's fee. And here is 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Yet another rare gem with CAC approval. Graded in Mint State 65 plus red by PCGS. According to NGC, this is by far the most dramatic double die variety in United States coinage and certainly the most highly sought. It is believed to have occurred during the fall, when a severe shortage of cents drove the Philadelphia Mint to extreme measures that included working 12-hour days. An estimated 24,000 examples were coined, but this figure is merely a reconstruction that can never be proved. Examples are quite scarce in Mint State, and fully red gems are very rare. The overall poor quality of 1955p cents in general certainly contributed to the lack of high-grade survivors. Also a factor was the coin hobby's slow reaction to the desirability of this variety, which sold for a very modest premium until about 1960, when it finally took off in a big way. This rare cent ended up selling for $287,156.25 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating and daily updating coin-related content. Take care.